In 1909, California became the second state in the U.S. to pass a law allowing the sterilization of women and men. This law was a product of what is referred to as the eugenics movement. They believed in the improvement of human traits by increasing reproduction rates of people with more desirable traits and reducing reproduction rates of the infant. Those targeted under the law were prison inmates, those considered to be mentally disabled, and people of unfit status. Among those deemed unfit were people of diverse cultural backgrounds who were believed to be socially inadequate. Inevitably, the move towards better human genetic traits reinforced racist ideologies of human fitness. California accounted for over one-third of the 60,000 sterilizations nationwide and held the highest amount of recorded sterilizations than any other state. Sentiments towards the Mexicans included beliefs that they were unfit, uneducated, and thus a threat to the human population. Stereotypes of Mexican women included being hyperbreeders, not being able to provide for their children, and a burden to the welfare system. Immigration policies during the 20th century were pushing to eradicate the Mexican problem with mass amounts of deportations. Sterilizing women, especially those of Mexican descent, became a normalized practice. Thousands of Mexican women were forcefully sterilized from the early 1900s to the late 1970s. In 1975, 10 women filed a lawsuit against doctors of the Los Angeles USC Medical Center, claiming they had been forced and deceived into sterilization. Six of the women claimed they were sterilized without knowing the nature of the operation until afterwards. The women were told that their tubes were going to be tied, but in reality, they were going to be cut. Many of the women were told that they would be unfit mothers, unable to take care of their children, Others were simply never told they were going to have the procedure. Dolores Madrigal, a married woman with two children, didn't speak English during the time she was sterilized. Heavily sedated from the drugs after giving birth, nurses told her she could have her tubes tied if she wanted a form of birth control. The nurses and doctors assured her that her operation could easily be reversed. Not only were many of the women misinformed about the procedure, they were being given misleading information in a language they often do not understand. A group of Chicanas from the Comisión Femenil Mexicana Nacional participated in the lawsuit to bring awareness, support, and fight for the rights of Mexican women. Many Chicanas felt the need to address issues concerning women of color, but had often felt marginalized within the Chicano and feminist movements. The women lost the lawsuit, but despite the loss, several critical changes were made across California. Federal funding would not continue to support sterilization programs, and hospitals receiving federal funds would be required to have bilingual consent forms and a monitoring program to assure the forms were being used.